Imagine this. With just one meter of sea level rise, around 80 major airports worldwide could be underwater, or at least too flooded to function. Airports are built flat and low, perfect for takeoffs, but a disaster when the oceans start pushing back. The reason is simple. Runways need long, flat stretches of land, which usually means reclaimed coastal areas. But those areas are also the first to flood. And it's not just the runways at risk. Critical systems like navigation antennas, fuel farms, power supplies and underground cabling are all highly vulnerable to water damage. Add storm surges on top of higher sea levels and even modest flooding becomes catastrophic. San Francisco International sits only a few feet above sea level, already relying on reinforced sea walls. New York's JFK and LaGuardia both were hammered during Hurricane Sandy. Amsterdam Schiphol technically lies below sea level, protected only by dikes and pumps. Bangkok Suvan Nabhumi rests on reclaimed swamp. And Malay in the Maldives, surrounded by ocean, it has no margin at all. Around 80 major airports are flagged as vulnerable with a one meter rise. Stretch that projection toward the end of the century, and it could mean hundreds of hubs facing disruption, from passenger travel to cargo supply chains and even emergency airlifts. It's a global infrastructure challenge that aviation can't ignore. Airports were built flat, long and right by the sea. That's perfect for takeoffs, but disastrous for climate resilience. If water levels keep rising, which airports do you think should be protected? At all, I mean, nigh. Uh, uh...